Hello. This will be my third time exploring this aspect of myself and sharing it with you guys, whoever you are on YouTube, maybe Instagram, wherever it goes. I just know to let it flow, right? So per usual, I'm gonna start with breath work. Breath work, breath work, beat, 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 breath work. Inakrumbatadaisha <coughs> Ina kumba kata daisha, uma krika tata, uma krata tata, ima kruta daisha krita, uma kata. Ina kumba kata daisha kruma kita tita in, ina makumba in makruba isha kra. Ina kumba kata isha ngoya kata daisha makata. Ina kranda ima kotoi. Yes, yes, yes. And you want to know what channeling is? What is this channeling, so to speak? <coughs> It's kind of a misnomer because we're always channeling, right? There's, there's energy flowing in and out of us, breath flowing in and out of us, energy that is breath, right? O2, right? It's an electron <coughs> acceptor or donor, Accept, acceptor, I believe. I don't know. When ATP <coughs> breaks that phosphate <coughs> and energy is released, it goes into the matrix of the cell and then that phosphorus comes back and rebonds and makes ATP again, and energy is created again. And the same molecules will break and reform, break and reform, and constantly release energy. Because that's what we are, a constant um, vat of liquid, so to speak, that's washing in and out, splashing out, splashing in, right? When we eat the food, we take something external and put it within our body, and it becomes internal. So we're always channeling in some regard, channeling my words through my vocal cord, through my tongue, channeling information from, <coughs> man, don't smoke cigarettes. Like just never start smoking cigarettes. Don't vape. That's just, it's just bad. It's just bad. Just do that, bro. You don't gotta hit the smoke, right? You can get high naturally. But we're constantly channeling information through us, energy through us, and then re expressing that energy and that information, right? It's reflecting. Things that come on to us reflect back out. Even character behaviors, right? Things that we've been reflected at birth from our parents' own traumas and their uh, maladaptive coping strategies, right? They channel them to us, so to speak. And we pick up on them. But we can pick up on them and release them in a way that for generations to come, it's broken down a little bit more or a lot bit more or released and freed, right? And I do feel... <clears throat> I do feel this generation, the, the people being born now in this day and age have such a template, like a freedom to freely express who they are truthfully. You mock a great at the day. You mock a I can go at Why can I do that? Because I feel safe to do that. I don't fear. I do, obviously, my ego still is like, what are people going to think expressing in that way? Especially people that know me personally. Um, <clears throat> but I have the freedom to do whatever I want, right? I live in America, right? And I feel 
the kids being born now, they have a freedom that I wasn't presented with, that my parents weren't presented with, that certainly their parents weren't presented with. And that is to be who you are, like truthfully, without risk of denoting yourself in society. And that's not true everywhere in the world. There, and even in America, there's still control. There's still this level of control over peoples and what they can do, how they can express and who they are to be, right? And that control limits us from seeing the potential of the human experience in all the art forms and philosophical debates and family and literally just anything in life. We are free to explore better ways of being human, more efficient ways of being human. Ways to dive deeper into who we are on a heart level, right? Exploring love and relationships. Who are you to tell someone what to do with their body? Like what? It's my body. My body is my temple, right? First Corinthians 3.16, I believe. Your body is a temple. That's what they meant, bro. When you go to the temple to pray, when you go to the temple to give gratitude, to show love, to give your offering, you're going to yourself. It's inside us, guys. It's in here and here and here. It's everywhere. But we are unique in that I have my own self, my ego, so to speak. And I can use that ego to go to temple and pray to what is beyond me. And so when people say they're channeling Archangel this, Archangel that, right? That to me is limited because you're limiting something. And in truth, there is no limit. There's no boundary. It's infinite expanse, perhaps infinite, perhaps not, whatever, you know perhaps. Um, it's all one vessel that within has permeations and computations, I don't know, has perme per permutations of different permutations. Fuck. Or, sorry. Um, because it's all one body, one flesh, You're not channeling anything but yourself, right? Some people I feel need, maybe not need, but I, some people I feel to make them feel more comfortable with doing work like ch channeling. It's helpful to have something external to latch onto, to guide the flow, so to speak. Knowing like, okay, this is a separate aspect of me that I can tap into and go with, but that's not true because it's all within us at all times. And so being one body and one flesh with, with God, whatever you want to call God, the universe, source, nothing if you're an atheist. If you're an atheist, you're probably not still watching this. So, um, <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Who am I to assume, right? But because we're all one flesh and one being, I'm channeling just energy. I'm just channeling an aspect of myself. An aspect of myself I'm learning to tap into more deeply, right? And something that I will continue to do for the rest of my life is tune into who I am. I do feel there's a reason you're here. I do feel there's a reason you're watching this, whether I told you to <laughs> or you just came across it. There is a reason you're here at this moment on this planet in this second of time, right? And that reason is for you to decide. That's, that's what we are. We are creators that get to create our perception of what this reality is. And by using similarities and congruency among other people's perception and awareness, um, you can find deeper truths about this reality. And that's a beautiful thing to me.